Hello everyone. In this session, we will look into the state diagram and state table. And based on the given state diagram, we will be designing the sequential circuit. So in this session, first we will focus on the basic concept of state diagram and how to generate the state table or the vice versa for this one. And next, we will design a sequential sequential circuit based on the provided state diagram. First, we look into the concept of state diagram and we will generate a state table based on the given state diagram. And if uh, the video becomes too long, I will break this down into two parts. And in the second part, we will go with the design of the sequential circuit based on the given state diagram. So, uh, this is an example of state diagram. So, we will try to understand what this state diagram represents and how to generate a state table out of this. And if we understand this one clearly, then we can. Uh, also generate the state diagram based on the state table. So uh, this is the state diagram and uh, and the state table will be something like this where we have the present state and the next state and the change in the present state from the next present state to the next state will happen based on the input provided and based on that one there will also be some in output. So here we can see that the state is represented by two bits here like here it is 0 0 here it is 0 1 here it is 1 1 and here it is 1 0 so it means that it's basically a two bits where uh, let that two bits be a and b and uh, so uh, since there are two bits here uh, in present state we'll also have two bits like a and b so the state J0 of A and B, it changes, it might change and it could, uh, it sends, it could change from J0 to 0 01 or 10 or 11 in any other different state. So, but based on this state diagram, what we could see here is it is changing from 0 0 back to 0 0. And next it is also changing from 0 0 to 0 01. So from the change from 0 0 to 0 0, uh, sorry, 0, 0, back to 0, 0 is happened for the given input 0 and in that case the output is also 0. So basically this is also in general represented as x and y where x represents input and y represents output. So here it can be explained as the state is initially, the present state is 0, 0 and from 0, 0, it is changing back to the 0, 0. So the next state is also 0, 0. For the given input, this given input x is 0. And in that case, the output y is also 0. So that's how we get this table. So next, we can see that this is also changing from 0, 0 to 0, 1. For the input x as 1 so it is changing from 0 0 to uh, 0 1 for the input x which is 1 and in that case the y is 0 the output is 0 now let's move to next state which is 0 1 so we can see here from 0 1 it is changing from 0 1 to 1 1 one one for the input for the input x zero so if the input is zero it, is, it will change from zero one state to the one one state and in that case the output is zero so next if the input is one here if the input is one here the state will revert back to the same state so from zero one if the input is 1 x equals 1 it will change to 0 1 state and in that case the output is 0 okay so that's how we get the four different uh, states uh, four different sorry not states but the cases now from 0 1 it is uh, okay now let's move to the next state which is 1 1 so that if the present state is 1 1 then if the input x is 0 then it will change to 1 0. So when 1 1, if the input is 0, it will change to 
1 0 and in that case the output y is also 0 and if the input is 1 in that case so from 1 1 if the input is 1 if the input is 1 it is changing back to 1 1 the same state and in that case the output y is 0 and lastly for 1 0 the present state 1 0 and in that case if the input is 0 x is 0 it is changing to the state 1 0 1 0 okay so it means that is there is no change in the state it depends the same state if the input is 0 and in that case the output is also 0 and the last one if the input is 1 if the input is 1 the present state 1 0 is changed into the next state 0 0 and in that case the output is 1 so that's how we can generate the state table or from the state diagram the same state table can also be shown in a different way uh, based on the inputs like uh, it can also be represented as this form where this uh, a and b represents the present input and the next state will be for x equal to zero case and next for x equal to one case so here it could be something like like the present state is zero zero if x is zero then the next state will be zero zero and for this one we can write the y and y here like uh, the first line will go here this one will go here like zero zero the output next state is zero zero and in that case the output is zero for the case x equal to zero and next for x equal to one which is basically this state so for the x equal to one the output is again zero here but the yeah the case is for x equal to one so the up uh, the present state will change to the next state from zero zero to zero one so that the way you can reach the number of lines here like in uh, next from zero one it will for from zero one when the x input is x is zero then it will move to the next state which is one one and in that case the output is zero this one and likewise uh, if x equal to one then it will remain the same state to zero one and in that case also, case also the output is zero so likewise we can do for this and this here and this and this here so the same thing the the one with the eight lines related to the four lines with this kind of table so now next uh, we'll move to the design of the sequencer circuit thank you mm -hmm.